So cancer patients are at high risk for getting blood clots, and those events include venous events and arterial events. Um, and we've known that for a long time. And the current landscape is to manage those blood clots. So when they happen, we treat patients with anticoagulation. But what we wanted to know was whether we could prevent these blood clots from happening in the first place. So this was sort of a supportive care study to prevent complications of cancer therapy while patients are starting, or at the time of starting a new, new systemic therapy regimen for cancer. We took about 841 patients. We only took patients that were at high risk for getting a blood clot, uh, and that's defined by a Corona score of two or higher. And those patients were randomized to getting rivaroxaban, which, which is a once a day di uh, direct oral anticoagulant, uh, but not at the full treatment dose, but at a preventative dose of 10 milligrams uh, versus placebo. And then we followed those patients for six months to see if they, uh, you know, if they developed clots or not. Overall, there was a high rate of blood clots, about 8.8% of the primary endpoint events and an additional couple percent for uh, uh, secondary endpoint events. And uh, so, so this was definitely a high risk population. And there was, def there was also a reduction uh, of events in patients who were randomized to the rivaroxaban arm. Uh, it was not significant if you look at the whole six month time frame, but that's primarily because many patients stopped taking those drugs at around the four and a half month mark. And we still counted events that happened after the four and a half month mark. If you focus only on the time that patients were taking the drug, then it was a highly significant reduction in events, uh, about a 4% absolute risk reduction, and a hazard ratio of 0 0.4, p-value of 0 0.007. Uh, in addition, if you include secondary endpoints like arterial events, visceral events, uh, distal events, then also there was, a, uh, there was a reduction in events for the full, full 180 day time period as well. And uh, one of the ways blood clots can manifest is by causing sudden death in patients, so cardiac deaths or pulmonary emb embolism deaths. And so we had a pre-specified analysis of uh, the combination of thrombotic endpoints with deaths. And that also was significantly reduced in the river oxaban arm. So we feel pretty you know, satisfied that there has been, uh, there's a clinical benefit to patients from this. Uh, and we are hoping that uh, there's a second study that also looked at the same population that's expected to report out over the next few days. And we hope that the combination of these two studies together will, will uh, lead to a new approach to primary prevention of clots in patients with cancer. I mean that if uh, cancer patients are starting a new cancer treatment that we should assess their risk for getting a blood clot using the score. And if they're at a high risk defined as two or higher, uh, then they should go on either, you know, on a, on a direct oral agent to, to reduce that risk. Uh, one of the things we observed was that we did baseline ultrasounds on, on patients before they started on the study and there was already a high rate of four and a half percent before they even actually started on study. And so based on that, it's possible that in addition to prevention, uh, we might want to do screening uh, to see if we can identi identify these clots before patients even start on study.